and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to cover the physical setup of the OWC Jupyter Mini Network Attached Storage Solution. We've already opened the box containing the Jupyter Mini and its accessories, and we've set them out on our workspace. They are the Jupyter Mini itself, the five three and a half inch drives that go inside, the power cable, and a pair of keys for the bay doors. We're now ready to set up the Jupyter Mini. First, we're going to want to install the drives in their appropriate bays. Start with the leftmost bay by first lifting up on the black latch to open the cover. Slide the drive marked Bay 1 into this bay connector first with the top label facing right. Simply push until it stops sliding into the bay naturally. Then close the door until it latches to secure it into place. You can then do the same with bays 2 through 5 moving from left to right. If you want to secure your drives, use the included key to turn the lock from the unlocked to locked position. You will then be unable to remove the drive until you unlock it again. On the back of the Jupyter Mini are a number of ports, which include an IPMI port, two USB 3 Type A ports, two Gigabit Ethernet ports, a 10 gigabit Ethernet port for use with DHCP setups, a VGA port, and a 10 gigabit Ethernet port with a static IP address. This last port is the one you'll want to use when setting up your Jupyter Mini. Connect a qualified CAT 6A cable or better to this port and the other end into a system or an Ethernet switch. Finally, plug the power cable into its port on the Jupyter Mini. Power the unit on by using the large button on the front. Your Jupyter Mini should show up on your system's network in two to three minutes and will be ready to set up and use. 